Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And welcome to day 15 of 21 days of prayer and fasting. And this is the last week of the fasting program. If you have just joining in, you can join the fast from day one, or you can even join the last seven days of the fasting program so that you may be blessed and blessed are all those that have partaken of this fast that we may draw closer to the Lord in this hour. And I believe that we are being called for such a time as this, precious saints. As according to Esther 4 verse 14, For if you remain completely silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place, but you and your father's house will perish. Yet, who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Somebody say such a time as this. Each and every one of us have been called for such a time as this, to draw closer to the Lord, to preach His Word, and to allow God to use us at the fullest extent that we would submit to His will, precious saints. God also chose Esther to fulfill His purpose in this classic rag to riches story, Esther, a young Jewish girl was selected as the Queen of Persia after winning a beauty pageant. But shortly thereafter, she received word that the Jewish people were in danger of annihilation. Realizing the urgency of the situation, Esther answered God's call. Hallelujah. She answered the call of God at risk to her own life to save the people. Somebody say amen. God has called us for such a time as this, precious saints. Maybe you don't realize it now, but God is calling you. Who else has God used? God used even Jonah. In the book of Jonah, we see God also chose Jonah. For the hour at hand, as a prophet of the Lord, Jonah would faithfully serve his country, meeting the spiritual needs of his people. But when God called him to preach judgment upon the people of Nineveh, the Gentiles, when called to action, however, Jonah packed his bags, fled, but through humbling him, swallowing him in a large fish, he thanked God, repented, and went to Nineveh. And to his surprise, the people took heed to the message of repentance and God relented for what He was going to do. Never underestimate what God is calling us to do. Never judge a book by its cover, but allow God to lead us and guide us into His perfect will within this hour because God can save even the furthest sinner, even the worst sinner God can save in this hour, precious saints. Or what about Daniel and his three friends? According to Daniel 3 verse 8 to 25, we see the story that God also chose three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. And these three faced a dilemma because King Nebuchadnezzar had built a statue of gold and ordered everyone to bow down and worship the statue. But despite the potential consequences of a superheated fiery furnace, the three Hebrew boys stood firm and would not bow down. They knew that their God was able to deliver them from the fiery furnace and out of the hand of the king. But they also said that even if God chose not to deliver them, that they would not serve or worship Nebuchadnezzar's God. And this is the decision we must make in this hour, precious saints. You've got to deliberately make a decision and say, I'm not going to bow down to the Babylons of this world, to the Nebuchadnezzars of this world, to the pressures of this world, but I'm going to serve God and I'm going to serve Him faithfully and I'm going to believe that God can deliver His people. I'm going to believe that God can bring revival even in the midst of a sticky situation. Hallelujah. And it was through such circumstances that humbled Nebuchadnezzar to the point that when he was fully humbled that time, he became a believer. He believed in God after he was humbled after that period of time, precious saints. Not just in this circumstance, but the other circumstances that took place in Nebuchadnezzar's life. Somebody say, Amen. God can use such people. God decided to deliver the three Hebrew boys. In fact, they did not even smell like smoke because when the king and his uh, advisors uh, investigated the furnace, they saw four people 
not three. And the fourth person was Jesus Himself, the Son of God. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is in the midst of every situation that you might be facing today, precious saints. God decided to deliver them. Precious saints, are you ready to walk in the fire? the fire with God because He is calling us also to walk with Him in this hour like never before. Maybe you're walking in a situation that you feel like you're in the fire. You feel like you've been thrown in the furnace, but God has promised also to deliver us. That God that walked alongside Meshach and Abednego uh, will also be the same God that we serve today. And also He will walk beside you. He will deliver you. No matter your sticky situation that you are facing today, do you believe that God is able to deliver you from whatever it is that you're going through today? Do you believe it? Because I do, precious saints. The beauty of being a believer in Christ Jesus is that even if God chooses to delay in His deliverance, to delay, we can always be joyful in the Lord, knowing that many of the afflictions will come to the righteous. It will come to you and me. But God has promised to deliver us from each and every one of them. Somebody say Amen. Precious saints, we are living in uncertain times and there are many pressures all around us to compromise, but God is calling us not to bow down in this hour, not to bow down, but to be ready to serve Him whenever He calls. I believe that God is stirring you up. I believe not only is God preparing you for His imminent rapture and we're seeing all the end time events that are unfolding today but we are pressing into God because we are believing that we want to see more of God somebody say amen God is going to do something beautiful in your life see the beauty of being a believer is that God has promised to deliver us hallelujah so how will you respond in your moment of truth when pressure comes to bow down to the things of this world or the Babylon things of this world, the worldly things and the temptations, you have a choice. You can stand firm in the power of His might, precious saints, hallelujah. Will you cling so tightly to your God-given status and reputation that you cannot lay it all on the line to obey Him? what it is that God is calling you to do. He will, he will challenge each person in this hour to stand firm in Him and in Him alone so that we are pleasers of God rather than pleasers of man. Yes, the enemy will try to come and tempt many people in this hour. Or have you decided to honour your God at whatever cost? That's the question we must ask. Have we made that decision that we will serve God despite no one goes with us? Though no one goes with us, we will not turn back, but the cross before us and the world behind us, precious saints. God wants to use such vessels. God has called you for such a time as this. If God could use Esther, if God could use Jonah, who even disobeyed God, but then later on served God faithfully. And it was even disappointed that Nineveh repented. He thought that he was going to go there and see the mighty judgment of God for what he had gone through. But because the people heard his words and relented, God relented and turned from that, from that judgment that would face them. Precious saints, God is calling us in this hour to serve Him like never before and not bow down to the pressures of this world. So you must choose today to resolve your stand for God today. Who knows? God may even choose you to do something even greater than we can even expect or even understand because His ways are not our ways, precious saints. Let us pray now. Oh Lord, I pray for each person today. Lord, each person that you are calling so that they do not compromise in the things of this world and all the, all the pressures of this world that would they may face, oh Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I ask you for a fresh vision for what breakthrough will look like for each of their lives. Help them to understand and help them to pursue the healing that they need for their miracle today. Show each person, Lord, right now, Lord, whatever they are facing, whatever storm that they are facing, that you are still God in every season. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will touch each person today in the name of Jesus. Show them how to rest right in the middle of that storm that they are facing and help them to 
to enjoy the feast that you prepare for them right in the middle of the battlefield. And Lord, I pray that they will testify that there is a God in heaven who knows their name and who will also show them their themselves strong in the name of Jesus Christ. Help them and fill them afresh with the wonderful touch of your love, your power and your spirit today. Lord, I pray that you would just remove all anxiety from the battle that they are facing, the storm that they are facing today and know that you walk alongside them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you today, Lord, that you would give them deeper discernment. Lord, that they would learn to rest more in your presence. They would learn to rest in your presence, learn to pray when they need to pray, to be perfectly in your will in this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that their lives will display your power Lord, that nothing shall be impossible for them, but breakthroughs shall be their portion from this day forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for each person today that you would draw them closer to yourself, draw them closer to yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for revival, just like today as they're reading the revival of Congo, Lord, in Africa, Lord, I pray that you would stir up such a zeal for, 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 for reaching lost souls, for seeing God move in such power in this hour as what you did in Congo. Lord, I pray that you would do even in greater measure because you said that you will pour out your spirit on all flesh. Lord, I pray that you would use your people today, touch them, fill them, provide for them, heal them, deliver them today in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy coming to you from the prayer mountain. Despite of the wet weather, despite of whatever weather it is, God is with us, precious saints. From my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.